the banks because of the uh, e-transactions that take place. Salaries are paid electronically. A lot of things are happening in there. Now, is this to suggest that we'll be paying double in terms of levies and taxes on these transactions? David, uh, before I even come there, you see, when they were doing this um, digitalization, they had agenda in mind that the idea is to raise more revenue from the people, to bring everybody involved so that we can tax people easily. But is that wrong? Because we've been talking it's about... It's not wrong. We've been saying that government yes. can find innovative ways yes, of bringing more people yes. so they pay taxes. It's not wrong. Much as people um, will be disadvantaged, especially the poor, the, those who I was saying are now included in the financial sector because of mobile banking. I think it's a smart way of making sure that a lot of people come into uh, the tax bracket. So for me, I foresaw it coming that when we are doing all these things, at the end of the day, when the economy is well integrated, this is one of the best ways we can uh, get our taxes. Now the idea is, there will be some transactions may be subject to double taxation or double deductions. For instance, if David, you transfer 100 cities to me, you pay 1.5. Mm. You, the sender, pay. If I go to withdraw the money, I'll pay the normal 1% that I used to pay when I withdraw. That one is still there. Now, if I also should transfer that money to Eugene, I also pay. So the same 100 cities, you pay 1.75% 1, 1. on it. And when I also transfer, I pay 1.75% on it. So as long as there's uh, electronic transaction involved, everybody who uses it will pay. So that's kind of double taxation for me. It's like, when you talk about double taxation, let's say um, somebody has given you money, the person has paid tax already, and then you who have been giving the money, you also pay tax on the money. That is double taxation. And for me, that is how this e uh, levy is going to work. And again, we, we, we know that even you know, these days when our money is hit our accounts, there are many people who use mobile money to even uh, withdraw some from their accounts onto their Momo uh, 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 account as well. So all these people, anytime you do such transactions, you are paying. Yes. Even when our, our, our managers, uh, companies pay their staff into banks, they will yes. pay. And so it, it is something that's all, all inclusive. Why can't we support such a move? Yes. I mean, nobody can say, no, if the government says this, you cannot say you don't want to support once it becomes law. But people are but, saying that it's not the best for us and it's going to bring more hardships. They are making references to what has happened in Uganda, what has even happened in Malawi and a few African countries where when we realize in one particular area that, well, um, there's, there's, uh, there's a lot of transactions going on in there where we have a lot of money. And in our case, in 2022, uh, 2020, we're told that we made some $500 billion, Then we think, hey, let's go tax it. People are saying that we need to trade cautiously. No, the issue is nobody wants to pay money. And people, when they are paid into their banks and they transfer their money into their Momo account, they pay bank charges for transferring to the mobile Momo account. So there's a payment there. And now, if you are going to transfer thousand from your bank to your Momo account, you pay your bank charges plus 1.75 percent on the transfer, the amount that you transfer. So naturally, people will react negatively towards it for a while. I said yesterday, somebody was saying. I said it to become normalized in due course. But initially, people are conscious of the fact that, hey, when I make transfer, I have to pay this. So then I'm not going to even make the transfer. I'll go to the ATM and withdraw the money or go to the bank and withdraw. But with time, you have to look at your convenience. You have to look at the speed with which you need to have the money transferred somewhere or do whatever. So with time, it becomes uh, normal, uh, normally part of whatever you have to do. But initially, you expect people to talk. You expect people to express uh, indignation that why going to pay all a lot of money when I have to just do uh, e-transaction, which will be easier. So allow people to express their disappointment, but eventually they cannot say we are not going to support. Government has thought about this, knowing that well, we're going to have backlash initially, but with time, people will get used to it and we're raking the revenue. But we have had people for. who have gone to the banks to, you know, cash in money and they've been.